Hey, welcome to the stream. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you're enjoying. Okay. What is this? I mean, it's okay. Ooh. Quest. I can't handle this constant fear. Lightning strikes often. So, I get scared whenever it starts to rain. Okay. Oh yeah, it was a metal axe. Yeah, that, that's... <laughs> okay. Thanks for looking it into me. That was quick. Oh! Wow. Well, that was a quick quest resolve. Alright. Yeah, you... What? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I want them all. Yay. Oh. Wow. Wow. Oh. I mean, just to get my money back up, you know? Wow! <laughs> they confirm me. Uh, I gotta go back across the bridge, there's still stuff below, okay. Why do I remember something? Maybe I'm wrong. Four hundred and forty to get all the upgrades. Well, I'm more than done then, huh? Let's start raining again. No, I mean, the whole Korok thing is just... Why? I, I'm not pressing a... I didn't press a single button there. I was standing still. It doesn't really give, give you much incentive to want to go get the others. But even just what you get at the end is... It's just not worth it. And this is coming from someone that is up to, what, almost 700 now? <laughs> I mean, we'll see what happens in tears, but I got the feeling it's going to be almost identical. The count towards map screen progress. There's a map screen progress? Where?
But it, I don't see a progress. After you beat Ganon. Wow. Shows how... I think I, I never really touched the game after it was done. No. I mean, it's just... The quests in this game, they kind of blend in with one another. The rewards are basically money. 80% of the time. Just fetch quests. It's not really that engaging. So I don't really feel that... Uh... Yeah, I don't feel that motivated to do it. Also, hey, sir. Yeah, I really... It's just... It's always that. It's... I think... You know, the open world formula has... Brought some things that are nice. But then we've lost some stuff in the process that made... I guess caring about townspeople worthwhile. Like in other Zelda games, you would hunt down quests because it'd be like, oh, one of them might give me a heart piece or something useful or isn't here. It's the same problem with the chests. It's the same problem with the chests. It's like these, it is extremely unlikely that this is going to be anything like, oh, yay, money. Unless they bring back heart pieces. That's honestly the only thing that can fix the excitement of opening a chest. Or doing a, a quest, really. It's just... Otherwise, it's... Okay, yeah, it's stuff you can find in the world normally. There's something here, but I just need a minute. Oh crap, it's gonna respawn them. Okay, I need to get up quickly. Wait, the cobbling camps have them in the chests. For me, like, the shields. It's a system that, I, I don't know, I guess I don't take advantage of, because I'll be happy with, like, a rusty shield or a pot lid, as long as it deflects a beam. That's all I really care about. The blood moon rises once again. Like, I, I, could, I could be fine with just pot lids in my inventory. Please be careful. care about aesthetics. I mean, fair enough. back aren't they yep they're back but see this time yep. this is how we deal with this yep. there we go i didn't think that one would reach Getting rid of most of them should be okay.
have been up here, so there's dragons incoming. Oh, I hate this. Oh, this dragon's the worst. <laughs> this one's one of the hardest ones to farm for. Because the projectiles move so quickly. Really? I'm, I'm back down here? Blood Moon's about to happen again. I guess I'll get another chance at the dragon at least. Mm -mm -mm. Nadra never spawns here. Do you want to know the, the spot to spawn Nadra? It's very simple. Go. Go to the spring. Riola Spring. In front of Mount Floria. Camp right here where I'm putting it. Just camp there. Wait till night time. And uh, the dragon will appear out of the spring at about midnight. So just wait till midnight. It comes out of the spring directly. And you get a pretty clean shot at it every time. And just rinse. Collect the scale, go back up the waterfall, rinse and repeat. Right here. Wait, am I thinking of the right... Hang on, Nadra. Which one's Nadra? I'm thinking of Feroche. Nadra. Is, there's another easy spot for Nadra. This is Feroche, hold on. Nadra or Cholera, you're blue, right? Okay, yeah. Nadra is... Jesus Christ. That was close. Um, Nadra, there's... A spot that I always get it from. That was close. Okay, Nadra... The farming spot I go for Nadra is... Okay. Uh, where is it? Linnea Promenade. Just where you get the memory. Right there. Um, camp it out. I usually climb to high ground, like along this ridge here. Camp it out till morning. Face the mountain. You'll see Nadra go down the mountain. And we'll go along here. But, yeah, it's pretty easy, that one, too. I thought you were talking about this dragon here, because, you know, we were looking at it. But you meant the blue one, which is still easy. Bodies in the river. Doesn't matter now. I'm gonna be ready. Okay. Fuck your electricity. for the horn. Did it just fall in the water? Okay, it's here. That's fine. We'll take that. Ooh. Not a good spot to be. Okay. 
Anyway, I hope it helps. Okay. Yeah, ha ha. It's amazing what shock resistance can do. Like, just with the potion. That is going to be pretty invaluable later. The thing is, I, I don't, there's a condition for Nadra to appear. I just can't remember what it is, but... Once you me meet that condition, then that's the spot that you farm Nadra. So it's not even something you can do right away, but eventually that is where it is. You have to shoot the blight off it. No, I have. I have, and it's not appearing in that spot that I pointed out. There's something else. Yeah, not sure. But it's definitely- that's definitely the spot that I farmed it. Boy, rain. This area is as bad as Zora's domain. I really didn't want to do this yesterday. It was just... It felt draining. this person just watching. It won't take long to finish the rest of it, it's just... It's this high ground, low ground thing with just constant rain. But I guess this area makes sense for it to be like this, but... You just feel annoyed because every other place in the game is like this, with the exception of the desert and the mountains.
there's another shrine you can't get until after the Divine Beast, the Sand Seal Racing one. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm gonna go as far as I can go with this. You know? Like, I know, I already knew before even starting this that I wouldn't be able to get all of them. That's why I said mostly three hearts. I could very well stick to it, it's just the problem it comes down to Trial of the Sword because of how that works. read what trial of the sword requires yeah it's pretty much you you need to um before you go there you need to apply yourself a 30 minute buff just do a 30 minute defense buff and then anytime you need to go hot or cold you have to put a fire sword on your back or um it's doable like try going through it with a with a defense buff it's just you need to be pretty good at it. You need to uh, figure out the optimal path, but, you know. The Iron Shroom buff that lasts half an hour, it should hopefully be enough to get you through it. <laughs> it's not easy. It is doable. I don't- I- I think I wouldn't be able to do it on three hearts. Like, I would... I would have to, uh... I would have to pre-buff to 20 hearts and then do it without damage. Does it have stages? I believe it has breakpoints, so there's three breakpoints that you reach. So there's like a first breakpoint where it powers up your sword once, a second time, and then the finale. So as long as you hit each of those breakpoints, it, it's a save, but those breakpoints are pretty far and apart. Like, there's quite a few stages to go through between each breakpoint. It's, a, it's it's definitely um, an ordeal, no matter what. Ordeal is the right word to use. Okay. 
let me look at what other food I want. I guess some movement speed stuff would be nice for now. If I really wanted to, I could try to push this and and make it um, make it something that I try to finish on three hearts. There's, there's a way. It's just the trial of the sword part is the most concerning thing, which uh, like like I'm almost confident I can do it. It's just it's it's more of a time issue thing than anything else. I would have to beat the Divine Beast and ignore the heart containers. And then temporarily boost my health and then remove the health so then I get the Master Sword. But I, I could in theory do it all. <laughs> Hello Zelda. Uh, how am I? Doing, doing well. Just uh... Getting through this jungle. Kinda of tired of it, just all the rain. How about yourself? Speaking of rain. It's okay. Just it's just this back area and then I can move on to the next tower. to here. You're doing good too. Nice. Got much on for the weekend. Yep. Ah, oh, it's just luminous stone. It's okay. I just need to check out back here. I see. It's, it's, it's a trap. It's a trap. It's okay. I got super speed. There's nothing up here by the looks of it, though. So Bacoblins ride bears? What? Okay, but just because they can doesn't mean I can. Not much, me. Uh, I guess the only thing I did today, I, I went out of my way to go try this American burger place, which... I guess because we were talking about it so much in chat, I felt compelled to try it. So I did do that. Let me tell you, I, I had to fall asleep for a while. Because it was that over the top, but... I'll talk about it more later. I mean, it'd be cool to get a battle bear. I still think there should be, like, Donkey Kong Country where... 
you can ride any animal, and the animals have special properties. No, but the thing is, it was a quantity thing, as, and it was also just a thing of, like, assault and fat and just everything. It was just over the top. It was rough because, you know, I had to... It's not like... It's not like I drove there or anything. <laughs> I sort of had to walk for a while and then... Hop on a train to come home. So that was a little bit of a struggle. Walking after eating is good because it helps. It did feel good walking, but then the moment I stopped walking and got in the house and kind of sat down, it just all hit me at once. But I'll, I'll talk about my, my burger experience in a while. As I think this is a conversation that Americans would appreciate, or at least some Americans. Because I know it's not a national thing. However, there is things of discussion such as the, the way Americans do bacon, which is more crispy. So I have thoughts on that. Because that's how, that's how they do the bacon there. Australia does the fake bacon. It's not fake, it's real bacon. It's still bacon. It's- the, the cut is still bacon. It's just we don't do the crispy thing, but it's still bacon. It's not ham that we call bacon. It's still bacon. It's not quite pork belly, like, there's a... It's one of those things where it's not ham-like, right? It's cooked to a point where it doesn't go the crispy, but it's not quite ham either, it's, it's like somewhere in the middle. The texture would be more stringy if I was to to describe it but you do get some some crispy burnt ends not super crispy but crispy nonetheless But yeah, it's not like we, we're taking ham and we're calling it bacon. That's not what it is. It's, it is bacon. We're just not cooking it in the same way. That's all. It's not a different cut of meat. Why do they have to be given fire arrows? Like, tr trust me on this one. It's the same bacon you get. It's just we're, we cook it different. That's the only, the only difference is, it's kind of, the easiest way I can explain it is, you know, if you get a steak that's well done versus one that's like medium rare, I guess, right? Or rare. That's, that's the difference. It's the same thing, it's just the texture is different because of how much you've cooked it. That's all it is. In Australia, you would not be able to call it bacon if it wasn't bacon. Like, the uh, consumer protection body would just uh, take the the companies calling it bacon when it's not to courts. So, you can't you can't do that from a fundamental standpoint here. You can't call it something that it's not. Which vegan vegan labeling has to be very careful.
It's like they can't use the word meat. When it has no meat. And then they have to, on their packaging, they have to say that it's like mock. But, uh, I mean, a lot of places will market it as, like, for example, you know, if it's chicken-like, it would be chick-n, like, you know, C-H-I-C-K, and then apostrophe N. So it's not chicken, it's chick-n, if that makes sense. So, anyway, long-winded way to say bacon is bacon, it's still bacon here. It's just not the way you're used to, that's all. <laughs> 14 days is left till Tears in the Kingdom. Yep. And I am doing my best to avoid spo spoilers because unfortunately a lot of journalists have already played it and they're just posting a shit ton of content around it and it's, it's kind of annoying. I, I don't want to see anything about the game beyond just the basic trailers. It's a bit of a minefield at the moment. I'm not looking at any short form content because that just pops up on your screen and starts playing. And you can't be unspoiled, so. Like, I, I don't mind that they have to do reviews, I, I, I get that, but... Some of them are just ridiculous. They, they've played the game for 15 minutes and then they make, not exaggerating, like 20 different videos. On every little minutia. That's it. I think it's just climb up to this high ground and then walk along this path here, turn back, and there's a little spot here. But otherwise, I think we're done. We can move on. I, I want to get away from this area. It just rains way too much. One thing I will do before I start Tears of the Kingdom, I'll, I'll rate my experiences in all the Zelda games so far. I can do one of those tier lists because it's like fresh in memory. Australian bacon is usually a different cut than American pork belly bacon. Use a leaner cut. Posted a picture of bacon that looks nothing like your bacon. But I've seen both here. I guess that's the thing. It's still bacon. It's still classified as bacon, isn't it? It's like, as you said, a different cut. But I've seen both here. Like, we, you can get both. Because, uh, that is... What's it called when you go to the supermarket? Hold up. Because when you go to... Okay, when you go to the supermarket... There's... Typically, three style of cuts you can get, if I'm not mistaken. And so there's one that looks more like American bacon, but it's not commonly used, right? And then there's the one that you saw in Discord, which is the more common one. And then there's another one, which is, uh... I forget what it is, but, you know, typically we use the one that you saw in Discord, but you can get the other one. It's just not common. That's why, like, the word is... The key word is usually. It is usually that. And they are right. It's 
what you saw in Discord is is what we would typically use. However, you can get the other cut you're talking about. Which is what I had at Five Guys today. And then the cooking style of it as well. You've only seen the trailer, the first one. Okay, good. You haven't been spoiled. Just stay away from live feeds and social media stuff. It's just... They're spoiling so much at the moment. Just... Anytime I see a thumbnail with Link on it, I just quickly close the app. Because I don't want it to start auto-playing. I've only seen pork belly in America. I think you can get Canadian bacon, but it'll be called Canadian bacon. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. We just call it bacon, and then it's like, is it Twitch yet said? It's just um, a different cut. It describes the cut that you're getting. It doesn't really describe... We don't call it American bacon when you buy it. It's like some, some kind of cut. I forget what it is. Like, I think ultimately we're talking about the same thing as just, I think, Australia defaults to what you would call Canadian bacon. But it is possible to get the one that you're used to. It's just, it's not as typical. Right? Does that, does that make sense? <laughs> but it's still bacon at the end of the day. Streaky bacon is what Google tells. Okay, sure. I have heard the term thrown around, but I feel like I've never seen it be called that in supermarkets, but I might be wrong. I don't exactly pay attention to that detail. I just say, oh, okay, that's... That's the typical bacon I'm used to. That's more American style. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those terminologies that I think is, is... A lot of places except America will use it. The fact that uh, it's like a terminology in the UK and Australia. It's probably just one of those things where you Americans live on your own planet when it comes to certain things. Bacon and PB&J, I think, is, is up there. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> the bull was helping. I had no idea they had the power to take out uh, trees like that. What's wrong with PB and J? You're the only ones that do it. That's, that's not that there's anything wrong with it. It's just... I've had some American friends be shocked when I tell them that, yeah, it's just, it doesn't exist here. Well, I, I can't try it, confirm me, because conceptually you use this thing called jelly, which isn't a thing here. Like, we have preserves, which is, is something completely different, so I, I can't try it. That's just the simple thing. It's like I could make something similar, but it wouldn't be the same. Use jam. So jam is, is considered a good substitute. It's kind of like, okay, you, you talk about the pizza rolls sometimes. I can find things that are similar, but it's not going to be a pizza roll at the end of the day. But yeah, it's something that no one does, I guess, is, is the thing. It's just... It's a very American thing. It certainly wasn't like 
any sort of comment on how good it is. It's not it at all, it's just... It's not a thing. That's one of those things that I could try, but I don't know. Um, I'm not compelled to try it because it's it's not that it, I find it off-putting at all. That's not it at all. It's just... For, for me, uh, I have to really be in the mood to have sweet stuff, and I feel like that would just be... Be too sweet and rich for my liking, you know? Be something where if someone had one... And they offered me, like, a little triangle of it. I'd try it, but I wouldn't be able to eat a whole one. And the other problem is I'd have to get bread. And I don't like buying bread because I can't... I can't finish it all. Before it, um, it goes off. It's just... You know, because I live by myself, I can't eat that much bread. And that's part of the problem. If I could just go to a store and buy two slices of bread... <laughs> and then... Be left with the peanut butter and preserves? Sure. I, I would be able to go with that. But the fact that I have to go buy a loaf of bread, and then I'll probably have, like, a few slices slices of it and be sick of it, it just feels like a waste. I just don't- I don't like wasting. The worst part about pb and J is you either get peanut butter in your jam jar or jam in your peanut butter jar. Wouldn't you just use two knives? Is, like, wouldn't you just put the required amount and then just, you know, use another knife or just clean the knife? Or am I am I oversimplifying the, the intricacies of it here? That feels wrong. Why? It's logical. If, like, the problem is you're getting one and the other, then is surely the fix- isn't the fix just using two different knives and- or cleaning the knife? I mean, that- that's what I would do anyway by default if I'm, like, having to take spreads from two different jars. Like, let's not say peanut butter and jelly, but, you know, any other- any other two spread kind of scenario or two condiments I use two set of utensils because I don't want to get it in the other one you know like that just seems logical to me so you're saying part of that experience is having that quandary I don't know. <laughs> it just seems so unnecessary. I would just use two knives. I don't care. I'd rather not have that problem. to make sure that I'm going to the little little islands. But other than that, I think we're done here. I think this looks good. Uh, that's Lionel. The spot here is a Lionel. I just can't stamp it, because I've hit my stamp limit. Okay. I just wanted to reset my position. I'll make some standard healing items as well, so I'm not just consuming apples. Oh. Hold on.
and try and get a claw. Got it. Careful. I'm not going to be able to get that this way. <laughs> I love how you can eat while swimming. It just doesn't seem right. But you have to deal with sticky hands for the rest of the day. <sighs> that, that doesn't sound fun. Yeah, it's kind of weird because it, it never really occurred to me as a kid whenever I saw the in cartoon shows, just um, the consumption of PB and J, it just never seemed appealing to me. Well, I believe I have one of each now. Let's see. So, I mean, we're good with Din. I'm missing... Wait, Fang? I have to shoot it in the mouth? I, have, I don't have Fang. Okay, I don't have Fang. I need to get Din's Fang. I forgot about the fang for some reason. Anyway. Uh, let's make some food. Just some basic kills. That was an accident, but you know what? I'll eat that now. Yeah, I don't have to go overboard with the greens, huh? Like, even two is enough. Okay, we're nearly out of food slots. Alright. I'll do it. Um, I should suppose I should go down here, but yeah, next tower here, and then here. I'm leaving the Gerudo Valley until the end. Because I don't like the Gerudo Valley either. What is this? Amazon product. I'm sure I'd be able to find this somewhere. Smuckers, like, two and one. I'm sure I'd be able to find th that somewhere here. 
just have to go to uh, an American specialty store. Because that's if I want to have Dr. Pepper or like... Um, what's another example? But any, any, anything American. Just have to go to one of these stores and pay the ridiculous price. Dr. Pepper is getting easier to find though. It's not as rare as it used to be. That's such a weird name as well. Not Dr. Pepper, but this. This jelly smucker. It doesn't sound appetizing. Because it has the, I don't know, it has the word muck in it. When something's like mucky, it, it's not a good texture. Well, yeah, the other thing is, like, goober, when you call someone a goober, it's, it's, they're silly, right? <laughs> I really wanted to check up here, but it keeps raining. I'm <laughs> so tired of this area. Ah, oh, please, if, if, there, if there is some higher being... There is some higher being out there. Just... Make sure they, they just knock it off with the rain and Tears of the Kingdom. I just, I cannot believe that a game about exploring a vast world has this thing that hinders you for like five to ten minutes. And then that thing that hinders you for five to ten minutes can happen again within a minute later. You just think of Spongebob. Yeah, see, I didn't watch much Spinglebab. Um, didn't watch much of that. I saw some of the earlier stuff, and it, it used to be on really, really late night for some reason. But it would be like 2, 3 in the morning. I wouldn't be able to sleep. Turn on uh, the TV, and then Spongebob would be on. And Yeah, it's like a late night watch for me. It's on pretty much 24-7. I forgot, I, I saw this article once that said that kids that grew up watching primarily Spongebob tended to have learning difficulties. I don't know how you would even conduct such a study. It's just... Do you watch Spongebob to a child? And then, I guess they rank them on their grades. It's one of those things where correlation doesn't mean association. Or association doesn't mean correlation. Whatever the fuck the saying is, it's just... Just because, you know... There appears to be something doesn't mean that's the reasoning. Like, you, you can put any two charts side by side and make it seem like there's a correlation between the two. Especially if the data seems like it aligns somehow. Like, I could put a chart of how much times I eat chicken, for example, versus how many times I glitch games, and then you could be like, wow. It would appear that the reason Will glitches games is because he consumes a lot of chicken. How about that? The funny thing is that day... ...where that Blood Moon thing happened, I did have chicken earlier that day.
SpongeBob and Adventure Time is something that I feel like I should watch in its entirety at some point, but just making time. I mean, for me, my, my comfort cartoons were just... Spongebob came a bit later, but it, it's still in the, the Nicktoon category, right? It's classic Nicktoon still. It's just, it's been going on for so long. But, you know. The classic Nicktoon slash Cartoon Network era of the 2000s, that's, that's my comfort. Like, late 90s, early 2000s. You miss Cat Dog. Cat Dog was a good one. That's that falls under that category for me. I don't know what I was thinking here. This was this was a dumb idea. It's raining and I climbed down. What, what was I thinking? Do you know what? TV show I'm kind of glad I never saw the end of this like well before the time of mercy here unless you were a 90s kid but um Jim Henson did the show before he passed away it was dinosaurs so there was like a knockoff Simpsons but with dinosaurs and there were Muppets effectively and the way that I only learned of this later but the way that TV show ends is so damn depressing that, uh, you know what? I, I was happy watching that show. I found it funny. I would have been very sad if I had watched the ending to that show. Yes, not the mama. Exactly. Do you, do you know how that show ends? Is it Twitch? <laughs> do you know what the finale of that TV show is? It's, it's kind of insane. So, long story short, Earl bring, somehow brings along the end of the world, basically, and causes the Ice Age. And so the final scene in this TV show is he's with his family, and he's glad he's with his family. And then it starts snowing. And, you know, it leaves that conversation, and they show just the house from a distance. And slowly but surely, the snow starts covering the house. So it... It's like, oh. Oh no. So, it's a, it's a really, really dark fucking ending for a TV show. So, you know, it's clear the Ice Age happens and they perish. That's, that's the ending. And I, I think even the dialogue kind of goes, well, we're not going to disappear, are we? We're going to be okay, right? And there's kind of this, this silence, like... Well, you know, we didn't take care of uh, our world, and so this is uh, this is it. It's not. They don't say it's not going to be all right, but it's it's heavily hinted. It's just like, well, we fucked up. And yeah, that that imagery. I I saw it as an adult, and I was like, man, this would have shattered my childhood a little bit if I had seen that. And I used to watch The Animals of Farthing Wood as a kid. That was like another show that... Just mental, that was for children. You want to talk about... Hardcore cartoon shows that just have like this... Very sad undertone? Man. 
the show was supposed to be teaching about the effects of humanity on wildlife. So that's what it was trying to do, but some of the stuff they showed in that show is just... It would certainly upset children, and I know quite a few people that used to watch it that just were like, yeah, I, I hated that show, <laughs> but I kept watching it. Yeah. The dinosaurs one was was really ridiculous. Just I don't understand how, you know, someone didn't go. Listen, you sure we should be doing this up? I guess the the thing about that episode as well is it didn't really air everywhere, and probably for good reason. So I guess that's the other takeaway is like a lot of kids never saw that episode. You had a dream that you watched it on TV that a meteor struck China, split the earth, and seconds later an earthquake happens and starts snowing ash outside. So you try to radio dispatch, get a response, and then you all die. Ugh. The apocalyptic dream. Yeah, they're not, they're not fun. Wait, there's another... What is this? Where is this... Where am I? Is this still pointing at the jungle? Because this is outside the courage spot. Which, you know, we don't, we don't want to be here. The worst part was the gorillas that roamed the streets, but that doesn't really relate to the dinosaur sending. No, I get it. Yeah, I mean, if, if you want to be saddened, <laughs> just look up the clip for the ending of that TV show. It's just, it's... It's really dark. For such, such a light-hearted show, like, it was all slapstick kind of comedy. It was basically The Simpsons as dinosaurs, right? They never really dealt with issues, and I think the show even had a laugh track. Or maybe the laugh track was added later, but the point is, the tone of the show up to that point was very light-hearted. You're at a stage in life where you just want every story to have a happy ending, and if it doesn't, you won't partake in it. <laughs> uh, I can understand that. Don't want crippling realities. Okay, I know where I am. I want that stuff, but the problem is if I get close to it, it'll fly away. Oh, go away. Paragliding is stealthy, but I won't be able to grab all three of them. I'll only be able to grab one. Yeah. 
I could get it. I doubt I'll get it. It's one of those things where, yeah, I could. Could is the key word. But given everything else that has happened, I don't know. I could eat some stealth food and then try to do it. It's okay. I'm heading to the tower. Which is over there. It's not that far away. I've already sort of done a lap of this. I just look at- I just look at this map now, I mean, man. With the exception of, you know, here, cause it's- You can't really do a whole lot there. Am I remembering? Am I remembering something incorrectly here? Why does this ring a bell? Like, doesn't something rise out of the mud there, or am I mistaken? Remember struggling to get the shrooms. Yeah. What this is. Crap. If you really want to get the shrooms, it's, it's just that. But this beeping, there's something here. Oh, it's just here. Okay. That's fine. Probably up that tree. Wait. Did that- did this- have a metallic, yep. Yeah. yeah. Mm. 
Hey, hey, Cookie, what's up? Okay. Yeah, now we can go in. And then I'll go get the tower. It was just because this was right here. Hopefully this will have more. Oh man, I burped a couple of times and I can just taste bacon. <laughs> That's probably the most American thing I've said. Ooh. Oh, it's just minor. Okay, um... Go heavy on the attack, let's just not mess around. Um... Yeah, I mean, look, just go the Thunderblade. Such an arsehole. That laser thing it just it annoys the crap out of me. I was gonna shoot it with an electric arrow just to get in range of it as well, but I was like, eh, should be okay. Nope. Okay, um We got we are going to do that so I can get in range and just mess it up. It's so, it's just, it's so annoying because it's not telegraphed, it's just they, they just do it. And they don't always do it. It's not a timing thing, they're just dickheads. Okay, now you're mine. There we go. That's all I needed to do. Don't need any of that. Although... I think we're covered. Yeah, we're covered. Good. An Australian rejecting the boomerang. There's something that I, I saw today. Someone was saying that, um... They have this paranoia that there's treasure behind the, this shrine thing here. Like, you know, where the, where the monk is sitting, right? And gives you the reward. That they always check behind the shrine to see if there's a treasure chest. I'm like, what? I, I never, I've never done that once. It just... I don't think it, it happens. Ever. And a bunch of people are like, yeah, I do that as well. You check as well, really? <laughs> I mean, I grew up on, on Zelda 1 where you, you had to do that stuff sometimes, but even I'm like, nah, there's nothing there. I mean, listen, you want to talk about pedantic? Look at, look at this map. Look, look, at, look at this map. <laughs> the levels of pedantic I've had to... This is going to be fun to watch this, by the way, like, when I play this out, and it just scribbles on the map. Ooh. 
No stoned unturned. Yeah, because that's how you had to play old NES games. That's how you had to play them. It's, it's... You had to push everything, you had to light everything on fire, you had to bomb every wall. You had to talk to people, and then even when you would talk to them, you would go back and talk to them again, just in case they said something different, like it was... Man. In some ways, it, it's made me better at problem solving. But it's also made me worse at it, because there are things that I just overcomplicate. Because of Zelda one, like that's where it all came from. Yeah. A couple of times I let you do secondary parts of the shrine you didn't realize were there. And yeah, I mean that that's fine, but I guess maybe for me the reason I don't check is because I've already written off the chests. It's just like, okay, yeah, even if there is a chest, the odds of it having something good are pretty low. It's not something that is worth the time investment. It's just a, a, a fault of this game, in my opinion. In terms of ranking Zelda games, by the way, this game is not in my S tier, would you believe it? Some people might disagree with that, but it, it's not. It's a good game. It's like A tier for me, but it's not S tier. There are things about this game that I just think are very flawed. And hopefully tears will, like, kind of polish that up a bit. But I do, I do love the game as a whole. It's just... It's definitely not on the same level as, say, at least for me, A Link to the Past or Twilight Princess. And, yeah. Twilight Princess, I... I enjoy for its storytelling. I understand that it's not the hardest of games, but I think it had the best assistant, in my opinion, because it was an assistant that had a backstory and had personality and wasn't just egregiously in your face, you know? Meadna was cool. I liked Meadna. You often think, was this game even playtested? I think... Despite the many delays, I still think this game could have used another year. It's just they, at that point they had delayed it so much and... This... this game was pretty much... It was instrumental to the Switch's success. It was not only was, you know, the Switch as a console... Just this thing at the time where everyone was like, wow. But the fact that, you know, this Zelda game was the launch title with it, it just... That was the no-brainer for me. Like, the moment I saw that, I was like, yep, absolutely, this is a day one purchase for me. But I, I think the game could have used another year to flesh certain things out. Because it, it is a very complex game. And hopefully... Another five or six years of developing this world further has done it wonders. We'll see. I just... I, even at the time where people were calling it, you know, oh, this is the best Zelda game. When it first came out, I was like, eh, I mean, look. I, I'm really enjoying this game. I really am. It's a lot of fun. But there are things about it where I don't, I don't think it, it deserves that title. And it's got nothing to do with the fact that, you know, it's not the same as what we get traditionally. Like, that's not taking that into account. I'm judging it purely on the merits of some of its systems where it's just like... Sometimes there are things that feel like an oversight. Sometimes there are things that just... That it doesn't feel like it was completely fleshed out. And sometimes it's, it's just... The lack of something. Like, the treasure chest thing is... 
is the thing that I keep coming back to is like... It's cool that we get this sense of exploration in this world, but the problem is like, and you realize this eventually, that this isn't something that happens right away, right? Like when I first got the game, I would go to the camps, I would go kill stuff. And you know, it was fun. But at a certain point I realized these camps, they're just bland, they're kind of bland, like, the fact that now the treasure chests, they're not going to give you anything significant. Like, there's no heart pieces in this game. Um, you're not going to get, like, a, a weapon that you can hang on to forever, because durability is, is just a thing. That's just going to be destroying your items constantly. And it's not a unique weapon either. It's just something you can find probably on your own lying around in a town. It's just... We lost quite a bit with this game. Hope they use less grass so you can stop dropping massive frames. Yeah, the frame drop thing, it's just certain areas. Particularly, um, you know, the, the Lost Woods is, is the big one. That's the one where... Yeah, man. So hopefully there's been optimizations made to the engine. So I think the other thing is this game, whilst it does have a story... When you compare it to the storytelling that happened in, happened in Twilight Princess, it's almost, almost non-existent, by comparison. And I get that, you know, it was probably very difficult to get something that was extremely deep in story. And also have this level of, you know, sandbox experience. But it's still, I guess for me, it contributes to... It's... It's not a deal breaker, but it's not something where I would be like, this is worthy of the best Zelda game ever. It's possible that Tears of the Kingdom might just remedy all that, and then I can... It's going to be one of two things. It's either going to be Tears of the Kingdom is going to be, you know, effectively the best Zelda game. Because it's everything we like about this one, but then cleaning up all the jank. Right? Or it's just going to be, yeah, it was, it was more of the same, and... It's going to be a, a very good game. It's just, it's not going to top. It's not going to top it that much. So, I don't know. Spherical rocks would be nice. There's a bunch of things that would be nice. Like, not sliding on surfaces. Like, sometimes you can walk up a surface like this, no problems. Sometimes you'll get this exact same surface, but then Link will just be slipping everywhere. Breath of the Wild doesn't scratch the Zeldoid itch is, is a statement I can agree with, though. It's its its own thing. Like, I, I, I get that it's not the same formula, but... I think the thing that'll make this, this sequel a breath of fresh air, despite being the same map, is it does look like the enemy variety in Tears of the Kingdom is, is like, at least double, if not more, than what it is currently. Like, here it's, you know, okay, it's an Octo- it's effectively Octorok, Lizards, um, Bokoblins, Moblins, right? And then their iterations, which includes the, the skeleton forms. And then, you know, the, the big ones are just Lionel and Hinox and Talus. And it's just spreading those enemies across a large... A large land. Whereas in Tears, looks like it's just... There's so many different enemies. Oh, I forgot about the Mulduga. Apologies. Mulduga is like the desert thing. Ganon looks badass, he's hot. Yeah, Rule 34 Ganon, Tears of the Kingdom incoming. And the fact that he's being voiced by Matthew Mercer, that's probably something else that's going to contribute to that fantasy, I'm sure. Huh? 
I knew I recognized the voice right away. I was like, oh, I know that voice. I know who it is. But it wasn't confirmed, and then, yeah, he confirmed that later that day. Used to think Ocarina of Time Ganon was hot, now he looks like Polygons. <laughs> kind of funny, but you know what? Like, people used to think Lara Croft with Polygons used to be hot, alright? Like, you know, triangle boobs. It's just... The brain can uh, do magical things when it comes to visualizing something becoming real life. Much like that Lego ad I was showing you where, you know, you're just literally seeing squares, but then your brain is filling in that. The gaps, the missing gaps. It's the same for the old school games. It's like, your brain was filling in a lot for Ganon, doing a lot of heavy lifting. Much like the brain was doing a lot of heavy lifting for people who enjoyed Lara Croft back in the day. Was, was Ganon the, uh, the Awakening, was it? Oh, that's funny. This map is getting closer to being fully shown. He would turn and grimace when Link and Zelda were watching through the window, you swooned. That's... Ah, uh, that's a great word. Kind of looking forward to what I'm going to sound like when I'm older. Because right now people are saying I still sound like I'm I'm in my twenties, but eventually it'll reach its its final stage where it's just I guess I sound like an old man. Surprise! It hasn't started happening yet. To be honest, it's like. Okay, well, now... Huh. Well, okay, there's a shrine there. Okay, I'm going to do this because... I've been neglecting to... Is that a Korok or is that a camp? It looks like it's just... I mean, I'm gonna go there anyway. I think that's just a stable. Yeah, it's a stable. Okay. Uh. Interesting. Hold on. Okay, so I don't have. Why is there a cap of just a hundred? Uh. Where, where can I clean up? Uh, 
the thing is, like, some of these are just markers, so then I don't... I don't go back to certain areas thinking there's something. What a... What a decision this was. It's such a massive map. It's like, okay, so let me get this straight. On a map where you expect us to find 900 Koroks in total, you're giving us 100 stamps. Is that about right? Where you yourself have put 900 things of interest. On this map, you're giving us 100. <laughs> no, I've been marking, um... I've been marking things that are camps where it's like, it's a large area, so when it, like later here, for example, when it comes down to it, I guess not here, here's a poor example, like, okay, take here, this is a wide area, if I wouldn't mark this, I would think, hmm, this is an area where there might be a Korok, absolutely not, there is no Korok here, there are two Lynels or two big enemies, like there's two big things here, where realistically in the radi immediate radius there's going to be nothing. So that's how I've done it, is just every now and then, like here for example, here's another good one. Here, if I didn't have this, I'd think, oh, that could have something. No, this is a camp. It has nothing. So a lot of it is just... Maybe one skull foot suffice. Admittedly here I went overboard. But... One more extra mark is not going to help. Like, that's probably the only time I've done it. And then maybe here. Here, this is an important one because there's a lot of ingredients camps here. I just mark the ones that these are the big ones of interest. So this one, it kind of has to be that way. That's the only exception where I've done multiple because this is a massive area of ingredients. But otherwise, like, it's just been one. Uh, that's Lionel. That's Lionel. It's, it's not enough. It's not enough this area it's just it's not enough i think um look at this look at this shit look at this shit can you guess what's happening here <laughs> we at nintendo applaud the decision made by the courts to find us not guilty of having controller drift issues with our controllers. We acknowledge that no such issue exists. However, if you do experience such an issue, we have this program to replace them. Because we care about you, the consumer, because you are our biggest fans and we care about our fans. As long as you don't do modified content, try to host a Smash Brothers tournament without our consent. Or do fan art of any sort. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just memeing. It's just, I think, I believe the, the phrase that was thrown out there was not a widespread issue. Not a widespread issue. This is my pro controller that's doing this, by the way. It's not it's not the Joy-Cons. This is my pro controller that's doing this. I just- I don't want to get a whole effect kit. You know, for a while I started using my PS4 controller. Because that was working better. Uh, 
trying to think how I should approach this area. I feel like I should go across the bridge first and then sort of head downwards. I think that's the way to do it. The Pro Controller has a piece, uh, Easter egg on the PCB. Yeah, it's like um, on the right analog stick, isn't it? Or under it? The, there's, there's an Easter egg. I've seen it. On the back, yeah, some something like that. Do I make a mistake here? I mean, the, um, you've heard of, have you heard of the, the Easter egg that exists in the OS for, uh, Iwata? I'm right. What about the analog stick? Yeah, it's visible just by, it's very subtle. Excuse me, is that a lobster shirt? What? That explains that you saw it and you thought it was with Nintendo was encouraging to take it apart. No, no, it was something that, that is visible. Um, much like the PS5 controller, um, it has mic micro printing on it as well. So it has uh, like a, the texture of the PS5 controller all over it is uh, the, the symbols of the controller. Micro printing is really cool. PS5 controller is my favorite controller right now. Um, in terms of comfort and the D-pad is currently the best. However, you know, unfortunately the PS5 controller can succumb to the same drift issues. It's just, it doesn't happen immediately. So, if that does happen to that controller, I will try to get uh, a kit. Because I think that controller is worth For me, right now, if I'm playing anything that's a 2D platformer or 2D, I guess, in general, I'm using my Super Nin official Super Nintendo controller. I just love that thing. Do you know what I've heard about 8-bit do controllers? And it's happened to one of mine, but it hasn't happened to the other one, is over time... Um, the buttons can get stick sticky, if that makes sense. Like they kind of, they kind of get stuck inwards. It's it's a really weird thing. Like the texture on the plastic just feels wrong. It's not something that happens right away, but over the years it seems to happen. I've had it happen to one. And not the other. And they've... I... I don't just leave my controllers lying about. Like, I, I store them correctly. 
quote, quote. <laughs> but, um, yeah, one of them just, it just feels weird to use. You've only had yours since Prime came out. Right, so mine, the, uh, I have the one of two SN30 Pros. And one of them, after, uh, like, maybe three years, started, just, it started feeling that way. And I, I thought nothing of it. I thought, oh, maybe, maybe I just haven't taken care of it, because the other one was fine. But then I was watching, um, a stream one day where, you know, the streamer just, got really annoyed that his his controller was sticky and he asked the question does anyone have these 8-bit do controllers and because this is the, apparently it was the second one he had bought and it just ended up in the same state it's just over the years it just for some reason becomes sticky and a lot of people in that chat were like yes yes i've had the same thing happen to mine I mean, my one was the one that they were advertising as a premium one because it was straight up, it just looks like a Super Nintendo controller with analog sticks, like, and they even did the Famicom and uh, American editions of it, so it was being marketed as like a, a premium controller, so it wasn't a cheap one. Where is this Korok? There's, there's one here, but I can't find it. Oh, it's there. I just saw it. Okay. Sneaky. There we go. Yeah, ha ha. It was an accident, but you know what? There's another one? What, there? I didn't have it go off. I mean, I'll have a look. It's not registering anything. On the wall beneath the tower. Let's have a look. It's the one you were saying where the cube didn't spawn for you. Okay. <laughs> that is weird. I've never had something like that happen, but you know what? Wouldn't be surprised if it did happen to me as well. Given all the, given all the other stuff that's happened to me. Some of the stuff you can count as unlucky, but I've... I've quite literally corrupted the game to the point where it was just unstable. <laughs> and surprised it didn't collapse on itself.
the tracker is pure yellow by that Koroka, because you had to run around in circles. I imagine, I don't know, it must have spawned and slipped and... Who knows. Yeah, good. No, nope, this is just ma a masterclass in world design. Let let your players get immersed in the world and then just introduce this inconvenience that prevents them from experiencing the world that you've crafted. Have literally zero benefit. The only time you want rain... That was highly convenient. Okay, I can probably hit it from here, but I need to hide. go. I hit it, but I have no idea where it dropped. I mean, the scale floats. I didn't really see where it, where it dropped. That's why, uh, yeah, I mean, this game is just... It's probably up top, yeah. I, I like it. I do like this game. But for me to say it's, like, the best Zelda game, no. The best 3D Zelda game, no. It's a very good one. But there are just certain things that just... just ruin the experience a little bit. Just, oh wow, yeah, no, no kidding. That's a pretty nice spot for it to fall. The best open world Zelda. But that, doesn't that get it by default? Because the last time it was that, it was Zelda 1. That's, that's basically a participation award. <laughs> what? <laughs> Best open world Zelda game. You know, already, I shouldn't have climbed this. Because if there was something up here, uh, the uh, old Korok radar would be going off. Oh, 
Oh. Because it's like, wait. It's raining and you have a metallic roof. So why, why would you want that? You can't climb that. <laughs> that was my, th my initial thought was, you can't climb that. What do you mean? Why are you so happy about that? Then the thought did occur, wait, what if this is real life? That makes sense. That makes a lot more sense. Why would you be talking about real life for? Pff. Who does that? So, you know, I've, I've identified the source of the Korok. That's that's great and everything. But do you know what's not great? Is being fucking hindered for another ten minutes. Oh, yes! A rich world to explore with many little, little mini puzzles to solve along the way. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. It's just... I'm gonna make a campfire under under the uh, archway here. Hopefully. Okay. Hold on. You had nine hours of in-game rain. I think I've done the same thing. That's why I, I think just the Elden area is the best, because there's no rain. It's just, you can explore that area. This is just fucking with me at this point. Uh, the, the rain stopped for a whole 30 seconds. I, ref I absolutely refuse to believe that they're going to release a second game set in this world and not not address this. I, I just, I, I can't imagine, I just, I, I can't, I can't imagine how they would let this remain as is in the sequel. I'm surprised that it, it is here, in this one. If you play this game for more than an hour, you kind of see, hmm, hmm. This is, this, you know what, this is getting a little annoying. Sunny days. Oh, neat. It's dragon time. Um, I don't have... Oh, no, I do. I do. I do. We'll be back in 30 minutes. It's fine. Ugh, the rain is over now, but... Oh, it's going the other way. I mean, I think it, it turns around. Hang on. 
yeah, it turns around. I'm gonna try and get what's missing the fang. Okay, I have to shoot it in the mouth. With the shock resistance, I should be able to take it on. that count? Ow. Heal. Okay, cool. And I'll just reset my spot. At least this is nice enough. Where is it now? Yeah, I don't know where it went. Oh no, I see the clouds. <laughs> I, I hate I hate this game sometimes, really. I I just disposed of the rain and it's already back. It's easier to just do this. Oh, right. Yeah, because I'm not completely back up, huh? Can 
Can I even get back up? Okay, I can. Thing. <laughs> what? What the? Okay, there we go. Farewell. Good. That's what I want to see. Because there is a Korok here. Because of course there is. Show no mercy on this one. Get it off. Oh, this is a new item. care about that sphere. I wonder where this one is. Well, it's not. It could be directly underneath. <laughs> it's pretty probable. Alright, let's go. search the carts. So wait, oh you can just walk up to them and search them. Yeah. Because I remember some NPC mentioning it. Why are you back? I disposed of all of you. Why? Why? Okay. Whereas the death count? Oh yeah, I have been increasing it. Um, in all fairness. That is what it's up to. What? Oh, what fresh hell is this?
sucks. I don't know what this one's referring to, though. Unless it's further that way. That way. Other way. Good lord. Alright, that works. Yeah, doing his job and just getting launched everywhere. I mean, I know there's some down there, but I'm not sure. It's funny, it's funny. If not a little sad. Where the heck is this Korok? I don't know. I'm afraid to drop down. Yeah, they got respawned. I think one of them just swam out far enough that it just got put back. Okay, I'm just gonna have to make the assumption that it's talking about here. Can I not? Oh, it's too steep of an angle. Okay, hang on. A little bit, a little bit more. Wait, would this work? Let's see. It worked. Good enough! Good enough. So I kind of have no choice. Oh wait, no, I do have a choice. We have a different way to do this now. need to move away from here before it falls back down and crushes me. That one's already been acquired. 
It's nice that the moblins and the bokoblins die in the water. Because that's honestly the only times that I'll intervene if someone's being attacked. Uh, is there a body of water nearby? Alright, cool. If there is, I can just send them flying into that and it's all good. Where is here? Okay, I mean, yeah, I've been here technically. Half the time the NPCs just run off before you- um, Unless you talk to them, they don't say anything. Just wanna go back to that spot and see if if we're all good on the bridge. I think we are. We are not. What where is this one? I'm gonna save. idea where this one is. Link, just thank you. Oh! Oh, oh. No. Ah! It's okay, as long as I'm under this, I can still look around it. Oh, shit. I have no idea where this one is. It's it's not above. So I, I would have seen it otherwise. I thought maybe it'd be doing a sneaky sneaky thing here, but not that I could see. gonna rat. I was gonna run out, but that's what I'm trying to look for is a hidden target or something. Ok, 
Okay, so that was a mistake. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I hate this game. Okay. The fact that it's raining as well. Oh, that's disappointing. I should get both out, just in case. Well, I was referring to the long throw. Being a disappointment. <laughs> just, that's stat. I don't know. It's a weird one. It's not a, it's not under the bridge. I've looked so It'd be nice if it would stop raining so I could look properly. Done the flower korok over the edge, yeah. Unless there's a second one. The only thing I can think of is like there's a target that I just need to shoot somewhere. It's not even a, a you know, a literal target, it's more a spot where there's an arrow stuck in it and you just have to hit that spot. Because you do get those from time to time where you just have to hit like a shield or something hanging on a wall. Or a coat of arms. I'm going back to high ground. The ones where the nuts are being thrown always gets you. Really? Even with stasis? I think those are easy. I mean, sometimes seeing where they're being thrown from, admittedly, uh, might take a minute. to the gust of wind. I want my gust of wind. <laughs> Recognizing that it isn't a target one. Oh, I gotcha. Because it's, it's just the pinwheel thing. As the indicator, it's not unique. I've had cases where the targets just somehow don't appear. Yeah, I'm not gonna get there in time.
Uh, maybe for a scale. Go for a pot shot. Go. Got it. Okay, that one I'm just gonna go get. It's a dragon part at the end of the day, I'm not gonna be fussy. There is one target car up in the far northeastern Hebrew region. But it's awful. Which one? Oh, northwestern. Still, which one? I might have recollection of it. Okay. Where the fuck is this thing? I hate to repeat this over and over again. It's on the peak and the soul target glitches around. Oh yeah, I think I know which one you're talking about. This one is going to be that the answer is very simple and I'm going to hate it. these things, I really do. Suppose murdering it is better than... Coup de gras. No, it, okay, it's still alive. What the f... What is this? This has to be the worst one. It's without a visual cue for this one. How would you find this one?
Has to be an acorn, yeah, but where? Probably where the two chests are. Yeah, I don't know. The problem is, ugh, you just can't stand here. This thing's so frustrating. Because the answer is no doubt going to be something minor and stupid. I don't I don't see anything here. This one this one is just awful. This one, I feel like, is just being cruel. Well, I can't stasis what like stasis is more for the the ones hanging right that's like a, a little nut thing that's what I'm looking for but the ones that are just say like I don't know like a shield on the wall or something I can't stasis that this is just more to see if you know like a balloon or something Yeah, this one's hot garbage.
Whatever this one ends up being, man. This... This was not intuitive nor fun. I shouldn't be ever doing that. I mean, it doesn't... I don't know if the center guarantees it. Motherfucker. Ugh. Why does, why does it always have to involve a bridge? Just moments of pain when I play a game seem to involve a bridge. Okay, let's take a look around. Okay, it stops here. It starts here. Almost tempted to look this one up because this this just seems like a waste of fucking time. Like, based on the radius of it, this would roughly be the midpoint here, what I'm walking on. But I've looked I've looked underneath here. I've walked around the underneath part. <laughs> Can't really see anything else that stands out of place here. There's just sky above. The thing is it reaches all the way to the ground. Driving me insane.
What else sticks out here? Oh good, they're back. I think I need to do my best to kill him. Right above the bay on the bridge of Hylia. But there's nothing that indicates that. Okay, that one's dead now. Northwest and center part of the bridge. But what is it though? Like what am what am what am I looking for? Am I looking for a target? Am I looking for a rock? Am I looking What is it? Okay, you know what, I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm gonna, this is the first time I'm gonna have to look this up. There's pictures, pictures are worth a thousand words. The fuck is this one? What? the fuck is this one? I'm looking at something that I feel like I've been screwed over by spawn. Also right now, cool, I, I can't, I can't do this right now. I don't want to drop a melee weapon for this. This is the Korok, by the way. But I can't get it without picking... without dropping a weapon. Wow, what a what a fun design this one is. Oh, 
I'm sorry. This is just this this is horrible. <laughs> I can't I can't climb back up or put down the weapon. I can't go down because otherwise it's just going to put me here. Truly, truly awful. I can't put something down temporarily. I can't put a, a not enough room to make a campfire. Controller's drifting to the left. Oh God. If they do not address the rain and tears of the kingdom, man, I I, I just don't know. How blind do you have to be to not see that this is this is a problem? All I can do is just try to climb up. I think it's stopped now. <laughs> the stick that broke the camel's back. Uh, it's a literal stick, but not a literal camel. I mean, the, the expression is straw, but I think I've heard stick as well. Trying to climb down. There we go. I think, yeah, this is uh, the worst Korok in the game. Yeah! Worst Korok in the game. 100%. Without question. This is. How would you know this was here without. Because without the mask, there's no way you would even bigger that this was a Korok. T absolutely terrible. <sighs> that sound of sweet, sweet silence. That's not in line with the other Koroks either, you're right, yeah. This is just one of these one-off things that is in a spot that you can't even see. It's not visible to the naked eye, really. Unless you go down there. And who would go there? Without the Korok mask, you would not come across that one. You just wouldn't. You would get all the other seven pretty easily. That one, you just would not come across. Uh, unless by some miracle you were climbing up that way. And you picked up the stick. Like, that's the other kicker, is if you have a full inventory, you're not going to stop to pick up the stick. You're just not going to. It makes no sense. <laughs> it's, so, it's making me so angry how, how bad that is. If it was like... I don't even know what you could do. Just make it a stone. Why, why is it not a stone? Why is it not a balloon? Why is it not one of those little nut things? The more I, I just dwell on this Korok, the more angry I'm getting at it. What the fuck was that? What was that? Nothing. Was that just a shooting st- No, but the thing didn't- When was autosave? When was autosave? Okay, hold on. What did I just witness? Okay, it's about to happen, so what did, what did I just witness?
What the? Uh... What? I don't remember what this is. Oh, it's a chest. Salvager headwear. Oh, it's the Xenoblade thing. Okay. Why don't I remember that? Anyway, it's not important. It landed in the water before, so I would have lost it. Oh man, I'm so I'm so sorry about the last twenty minutes. That was that was not enjoyable. I can't believe how, how egregiously horrible that was. <laughs> Top 10 of the hardest Koroks was made and that one was number 4. How is that one not number 1? <laughs> All the other ones are way easier, okay. Yeah, I mean that's just a really subjective thing, isn't it? Difficulty is relative to, like, your problem-solving abilities and just how you approach things, right? But that one, if we go from a fundamental look at how all the other Koroks work and all the other forms of visual cues, whatever you want to call it, just everything else, it just- that one made no sense whatsoever, the way it worked. And the fact that you also have to have an empty weapon slot, that's the kicker. No one's gonna drop- no one's gonna drop a weapon when they come across a stick on the side of a bridge like that. I mean, the majority of us won't. Someone will think, yeah, that's odd. Lake one is ranking higher. Coral Lake. You mean the one that was... The, that one there? You talking about this one or wait? Coral Lake. This one? I don't have it. Okay, I'll go back there. I mean, I, to be fair, I haven't really explored that part yet properly. Have a look. How is this looking? You know, what? I'll I'll go there. Just just 
to get it out of the way. I don't know what's going on outside and if you can hear it but there's just someone furiously honking their horn outside right now this way. I want to know who sits outside someone's place to get their attention. Just repeatedly honking the horn. I'm talking like six to seven honks per cycle of honks. And does that for five minutes straight. And not be an arsehole. <laughs> kind of have to be a bit of an arsehole to do that. I hate to say it. Okay, increment. Look, if they didn't get it, get it the first time around, they're not, they're not coming out. I hate to say it. Time is at uh, 10 p.m. So you know this person's doing that at, at 10 p.m. That's the that's the other factor I, I didn't take into account. It's like it's 10 o'clock at night, dude. What the what are you doing? What is what is actually wrong with you? these things oh uh, no okay you got you're going to be a wanker and follow me all right guess you want to die huh
The wands with spears are a little scary. Just that reach. That extra level of reach they have. be dead here. That was probably not worth the risk. Yeah. Link decided to climb the tree instead of jump across that gap. Oh no, yeah, cool. Thanks, autosave. The times where I want you to save right away, it puts me back like 15 minutes. In combat? Nah, let's just put him back in the spot that he died in. He wants another try at that. Wants another, wants another go at it. Not like Floria now. Or Cora, sorry, not Floria. Cora. Okay. Oh, that's near the Cora name tag, so this is something else that I'm seeing. I love me a Korok rich area. Unless it's like that bridge where I just waste 20 minutes trying to find one. I may have to go deal with that first. You know what? Memories do... I sort of have this memory of this area, but I'm not sure what I'm remembering. Just rings a bell. Okay, I have to go deal with that. I can't have that be happening. That's just distracting. Okay. 
Okay, you want you want to be a wanker? Let's dance. Sorry, just any anything that's semi threatening. And this just could potentially cause me to not look, you know? Okay, so what am I looking for here? Wait, why is why was that there? Okay, you know what? It, it doesn't matter. Go from the high ground side. I can see how this one's annoying because you have to go through the camp. To go through the high ground. Start on the way down, it just blends in well. I can see why this one's ranked high, it's because it camouflages in pretty damn well. To be honest, I've kind of already lost it already. I mean, okay, I've found the block's not going anywhere. No, no, it, it should be here. It might just be a, a draw distance thing as well. The fuck is it? There it is. It's a draw. It's a draw distance thing. I, I can see why this one's. Yeah, this is a. Uh... I can I can say why it's ranked up there because it's it's pretty well camouflaged the color palette. I think without you pointing out this one specifically, I still would have found it on time. I would have gone through the process of going to high ground and seeing what I could spot. But the other one was just straight up 
I, I, I looked with the camera. I was using stasis. I was using magnesis. I was using everything at my disposal to try and find where the heck this was. And just, there was no camera angle where I would be able to see it. And even then it was a stick. This one just boils down to personal experience, and from a design perspective, at least it's consistent. The other one is, is just... I don't know what else to say about it. You saw. It was, uh, not fun. Did not enjoy that one. But okay, glad I did that one. Alright, I'm going to... to the spot I was actually going to start from. For this region. I think that one's just a victim of draw distance and... a color palette that just doesn't stand out well. But I mean, if let's say you you know you would be able to see it easily, I think the other one was way worse. The other one was just I can't see a scenario where I would have seen that on my own. I had I had to look it up. Quite frankly, it was just it's the first time I've had to do that. Hey, Colrun, how's it going? The block being out of the draw distance of the target is bad design. I, I agree that it, it- don't get me wrong, like, I'm not saying it's good design, but I think comparing it to the one on the bridge, I think the one on the bridge was worse. I think the one on the bridge was just- I, I can't- I just can't describe it enough. Here, it was five- 10 minutes maybe of just, I was feeling like, okay, I can find this. I haven't really exhausted my options. That was, the thing on the bridge there was I exhausted all my options and I was genuinely getting annoyed. And I hated the answer because it was just, it was bad design. How's the Saturday? It was good. I, uh, I did go to Five Guys. And, uh, took an afternoon nap as a result. I'll talk about it in a minute, because I do have pictures and stuff, so you can see. Once I, uh... Do the intermission thing. I think it's about time. You're kind of lucky to have not been part of the last half hour or so. Just two Koroks, p absolute pain in the ass Koroks. Uh, yeah, they were not great. Well, one of them was, if you'll know. Yeah. Like, it's almost perfectly shaded in. And it, 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 it's just, it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible, that one. Because it, it goes against the pattern of how the other ones are designed. And it's something where, even if you do get to the spot where it is, it's like, if you don't have a weapon slot free, you can't find the Korok. Unless you drop a weapon. And you're not going to drop a weapon because it's just a stick. No one's dropping a weapon at that point to pick up a stick. Do you want to know what it is? <laughs> get to the middle of the bridge. Get, get to the middle of the bridge. You can go see it for yourself. Get to where the fountain is. This little inlet, so you know, on on this, just climb down here, and you'll see a stick against the railing, the under railing of the bridge. A stick. You pick up the stick, the Korok appears. Yeah. 
happened. They expected people to find that one without the mask somehow. It's the yeah, it's the only Korok that that has that happen, as Confirmy just pointed out. It's the only one where you have to pick up a stick in that fashion to get it. So it's not like you've had to do this before. And it's a, it's out of view. It's obstructed out of view. So looking around, you won't be able to see it. And even if you climb down there, you're not putting down a weapon to make room for a stick. I, I, I looked it up. I straight up looked it up because I was... I was going around there for tw I was there for 20 minutes looking for it. I was there for 20 minutes. I was doing everything. I was using stasis, climbing under, looking for balloons. Just every single thing that I'd usually do to find a Korok. And the answer was, no, it's a stick in this obscure spot. And even when I got to the stick, I couldn't pick it up because I had a full inventory. And I had to wait another five minutes because it was raining to climb back up. Put a weapon down, climb back down, and pick up the stick. Uh, I was... It's, it's, you can you can tell, I'm, I'm genuinely annoyed at that one. I can't believe it was voted number three as worst Korok in the game. I find it hard to believe that there's any other one that's worse. For me, for me, it's the hardest one. I think the uh, the other ones that they're pointing out, I can understand why they're difficult, but at least they're consistent. They match the design of other Koroks. It's just, it's un they have unfortunate circumstances, but at least by design they are consistent. This one is an outlier. This one is something where maybe. They had stuff like this in an earlier version of the game, and this was like a test for it, and they just left it in. But it, it, it's just so out of place. And even with the mask, it still took me 20 minutes of, like, losing my mind to try and find it. I, 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 there's nothing to watch like I, it's just me complain do you want to hear me complain for 20 minutes go go nuts but I'm not getting angry I'm just it's just sad I don't know I can't be objective on how entertainment how entertaining it's gonna be I mean, past the 700 mark at least. Gives you something to watch when I'm offline. I guess, but... You know, I do have other stuff that's probably more entertaining. I mean, I don't know. Okay. Like Super Monkey Ball. Oh my god, that stream was a disaster. But admittedly funny. You want to you want to see me get angry? Go go watch me play Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz HD. That that is definitely probably one of the the times I've gotten the most salty at a game.
and probably made the most horrendous of no horrendous of noises. I've at least separated in the playlists area just the, the streams that have, or the games, the playthroughs that have made me the saltiest separately. I played Super Mario Brothers 1 on Mario All-Stars. That was, that annoyed me too. Because Mario Brothers 1 was one of those games that I just played to death as a kid because it was one of those few games that we had. So uh, I felt pretty retro one day. I was like, okay, I want to play an old game. You know what? I'll play the All-Stars version. I've never played the Mario All-Stars version. And... The Mario All-Stars version, whilst visually it looks nice, it does not play the same. And so a lot of the time I was just dying to stupid shit because it just didn't feel like the, o the OG one. So... Looking forward to the retro Metroid games. You know I have- I still haven't played Super Metroid to completion properly. It's something that I've played in bits and pieces, but I've never actually finished it on my own. And the other ones, enough time has passed that I just... I have forgotten them practically, but I know they're good games. Like Zero Mission and Fusion. I don't know if I'll play the NES one. The NES one... The NES one... I can do. I just need to watch the routes that you need to take for it to get the good ending. But I can pull it off, like I've, I've done it before. It's pretty much, there is one move that I need to pull off. And if I pull off that move, then I, I can get the best ending in the game. But if I fail that move, then well, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a disaster. I have heard um, someone's made a special version of the game that has a minimap that you can bring up with the pause menu, which is kind of sick. Because I think that's one of the, the flaws of that game, is there's no map. And it's all just about memorizing... Um, yeah, just memorization. You play through it and you memorize the game. Much like a lot of classic games. No map in the Metroid is a turn off. I mean, it's the first Metroid game, so they were still figuring it out. Apparently, I'm not allowed to crouch here, chat. Once we get up to Tears of the Kingdom and I'm not so under pressure to get a Zelda game done, then I'll consider bringing a second game into the mix. I mean, the first few days of Tears of the Kingdom, it's going to be te just Tears of the Kingdom, but once we're settled into it, I'll, I'll go back to having a second game because it's, uh, it's honestly been a while. Under pressure. It's a good song, but you know, I can't help but think of 
just vanilla ice talking about sampling. Hey, nah, man, you don't get it. My... My stance on sampling is that it's alright, you know? Listen, their song goes dun 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 And my song goes dun 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 Do you see? It's different, man. It might sound like uh, I'm memeing here, but that, that is pretty much what he says. He he sounds it out. <laughs> it's such a ridiculous thing. But yeah, he's like, nah, man. It's like, listen, can't, can't you hear the difference? I guess that's the joke, is like, you, you watch that interview and it's like, I don't hear a difference, it's the same song, but he's trying to... He's trying to, he's trying to say something that's valid, right? But he's saying it in the most stupid way. He's, he's trying to say, you know, transformative content can stand up on its own, right? And to some extent, I can agree to that. However, the example he's giving, I'm sorry, it's just not doing it justice. <laughs> it's just... Mm, yeah, no. Should have just said, you know, mine's a hip hop track. Your path seems to mirror your father's. You've dedicated yourself to becoming a knight as well. Your commitment to the training necessary to fulfill your goal is really quite admirable. I see now why you would be the chosen one. What if one day you realized that you just weren't meant to be a fighter? Yet the only thing people ever said was that you were born into a family of the royal guard, and so no matter what you thought, you had to become a knight. If that was the only thing you were ever told. I wonder then, would you have chosen a different path? Okay, and then the last one's the Gerudo area. <laughs> Vanilla Ice ultimately ended up what? A TV show as a carpenter? See, I don't know that. That it, that show probably never aired here. Oh no, I didn't get that one. Shit. That's like that's right near Hyrule Castle. I didn't get that one. Ah, uh, I mean, I can make a trip there at some point. It was fairly recent. Oh, okay. I mean, that that's fine, because the, the, I thought you're talking maybe in the 2000s. That is Southeast Hyrule Field. So, what, here? Giant? No, not Giant's Forest. I, th I thought it was here. I thought it was here. Or am I wrong? So you're saying, what, it's here? No, because I've already got that one. There's one here. Are you talking about the one next to the lake? Because I have that one. Hmm. Way southeast. Oh, like... Here. No, but that's mountains. I don't know. If I haven't been there, I haven't been there. It's fine. I mean, a lot, a lot of hip-hop artists, they stop making music eventually. It just depends where you ultimately end up. I'm by it. What? What's the, what's the nearest point? Forest of Time? I mean, if I'm right by it, get out a bit. <laughs> At this point, I could almost look it up myself. Stable due north. Okay, here's a stable due north, Riverside Stable. Do 
go there. I suppose not that far away. When I get to the stable, I'll I'll tell my my story of five guys. Not that it's much of a story. But I guess the experience. I want to clear this swampy looking area first, though. What if you're wrong again? Psst, well. As a wise person once said, and this has stuck with me for the longest amount of time, but it's gotten me th through some tough times. You know. The Blood Moon does not affect enemies right near you. I feel like there's nothing here just because there's a talus in the middle. No, I'm taking the opportunity to collect the frogs, but... Just thinking Korox. Probably also be doing this. Ooh, these are good. Definitely want these. I mean, if you're wrong about this, at the very least, the consolation is you will be making content. Just my... my sounds of disappointment and betrayal. They make good content. These, these are the good frog. Yeah, look, I don't want to deal with that. Look at- oh, this is a good area.
I mean, this is Zelda's fault, if anything. She was the one that wanted Link to ingest the frog in the first place. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't know about swamp hermits, because we don't really have swamps. At least like this. I guess we do these things called wetlands, which I guess you could classify as swamp, but they're typically man-made. Most of them. Looking at frogs is a big thing. Yeah, I don't I don't think we have frogs that do that here. I could I could be wrong. I've only really seen it in in cartoon shows, really. So, yeah. Just gonna... Go on a little detour. There's one thing I don't understand. So these are supposedly ruins from cities that existed a hundred years ago, and yet, like, this is... This just seems like a perfectly well-kept garden here. I don't know. <laughs> it's just... I look at that and that just looks so out of place. Nearly there. It's possible that the ruins could get more interesting later in tears, because by the I mean by the looks of it. There's going to be some entrances to stuff appearing in the new game. Okay, so here's the stable. Oh, right. 
Yeah, but I don't have the the sugar. The next one. Okay, this is <laughs> I thought it was this one. This is further away. Nope. Go away. Well, I'm definitely gonna have to use a pony to get back, because this is... This is a bit, uh... A bit further away than I would have liked, but... I guess... I should do this now, because... I'm not really gonna be anywhere close to this area. Everything else I need to do is to the south. So we're talking about just coming up, right? I walked by it, did I? I didn't see it. <laughs> Am I that blind? I mean, it might be in the moment that I looked at chat as well. Keep that in mind. Like, I'm, it's not like I'm fixated on the screen. Like, I do have to look at the other monitor for, a mi like, a few seconds. Marco! Marco! Stick to the path. What path? There's no path here. A perceived path, perhaps. If it's here, if it's here, I'll find it. It's the. Don't worry. I'll just look. Odds are, I looked away at, at like the wrong moment, and I didn't see it. Oh, yeah, okay, there it is. I don't like that it doesn't appear until you're pretty much immediately on top of it. I feel like that's, that's a bit of a design flaw. Unless they're purposely trying to make it hard. But see, this one, it just looks like a lot of forests. I can't really see it. Something that would, uh... Like, would you be able to pick this out in a li lineup of photos of forests? How 
did it come to this? The divine beasts, the guardians, they've all turned against us. The talent based north, but ended up having to take it to Pekanga, right? It turned them all against us. And everyone, Mifa, Rebosa, Rivali, and Daruk, they're all trapped inside those things. It's all my fault. Our only hope for defeating Ganon is lost, all because I couldn't harness this cursed power. Everything. Everything I've done up until now, it was all for nothing. So I really am just a failure. All my friends, the entire kingdom, my father most of all. I tried and I failed them all. I left them all to die. <gasps> All right, all that's left is the one in the Gerudo Valley. <laughs> it's just... The severity of this mem memory is just ultimately ruined by the Karak Mask. Okay. Stable is just ahead. I'll just cross the river here. I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just I'm tired of those things. Combat music is still going. Why? Okay. They don't follow you into town, surely. Like, they just give up here? I've never seen one go to a stable. Yeah, okay. I thought for a sec that was the lizard, but then it's just this dude. <laughs> I just heard the sound effect and... Ugh, panic for a sec. Okay, uh, we're gonna take a small intermission chat. It's been, like, four hours, so... And I got a memory. Uh... But... When we come back... Gonna head further into this tower, which doesn't look so bad, but I imagine this is probably going to be the rest. I think. Yeah. But we're getting there. We are getting there. Alright, uh, yeah, give me two to five minutes. I just want to get a beverage and uh, stretch, because I need to do that. It's important. And uh, we'll continue. But if you're watching later on YouTube, this is the part where I say bye YouTube, but thanks for watching. And consider doing any of that fun algorithm stuff if you want to support whatever I do here. But yeah, see you next time.